Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves as Russia. So we're in war with Germany, and we've managed to somehow balance our budget. The one thing that I'm kind of seeing that I want to eliminate is the mixing of some of our really inferior units, some of our raiding units. Um, mixing of all those guys with the main force. So these guys are currently all well positioned. We can actually get these guys to raid because Northeast Asia is well taken care of with plenty, plenty of battle cruisers, or sorry, battleships. Old battleships though they may be. So one idea I had was to move our heavy cruisers somewhere more useful. And I was thinking, what if we even move them over to West Africa? You know what, I probably need them to end the blockade for now, so I was thinking of moving them out, but I, we really got to overcome this blockade. How, let's see, we are incredibly, incredibly outnumbered. I'm almost reluctant to believe those numbers. That means they have over double the number of dreadnoughts and battle cruisers that we have. Wow. 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 Well, we have four more dreadnoughts that, well, yeah, some of them are going to be ready soon ish. But that is not good to see. This So we're going to have to end this war not through ending the blockade, just by through force of arms. Which means, yes, get these heavy cruisers out of here. Let's just move them over to West Africa for now, just to get them out of here. I don't think we have the bases to support them, but the next thing we're going to do is get a whole bunch of other people to raid as well. So everyone here go to raiding status, but, oops, I didn't want the Cuban, the Reuben, I mean. Yeah. These are the guys I want, and I want to move out of Northern Europe as well. So let's get maybe three more over to the Mediterranean. Um, let's get a whole, let's get a, a contingency over to Southeast Asia. It's a bit far away, but I know the Germans have some stuff there. We should get some more to West Africa itself as well, but uh, you know what? Hmm, I wonder how many we should actually leave. I don't want to leave any in Northern Europe, actually. Okay, so where else does Germany have colonies? We could put some over into the Indian Ocean. Yeah. Okay, well, might as well. We're just going to spread out our fleets everywhere. Our raiders are going to go to all corners of the globe. So you guys will go to the Indian Ocean. And that should put like a, the clamp down on a lot of their sh their shipping. Hopefully we see some some return on those investments. Some positive results. Who else do we have raid? Well, I don't think I'm going to set any of these guys to, just because I think we need the points. Well, hmm. You know what? I am going to set some of these guys to raiding status. We're going to get the Nadezda Mingle to raid. Uh, just because I don't mind my battle cruisers being intercepted. They're very good raiding ships, to be honest. Maybe I should make them more of an effort at raiding with these guys. Yes, we'll leave a few not raiding, especially the Kinburn and Mal 39, the Big Stabin. These guys, I think they'll be on my active fleet, you know, part of the main fleet. But get some of the other guys raiding. Battleships, just let them hopefully take over colonies over there. Move the heavy cruisers out, move the floor classes out, and now we just have these Rubens. Yeah. This makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and end this turn and see what the result is. We have enough patrol, we have people on raiding. Very good. Right, of course, we have some people. Oh my gosh! Well, despite our huge patrol fulfillment, they still have hit our MAL-39 with a torpedo. 
Well, it looks like two submarines have been sunk for that, so that's not so bad. Okay, one, five, wow, six total, seven, nine, 13. That was a really good turn. Okay, let's fight this one, because I think we have a better chance of escaping. Whoa, apparently it is very foggy out. Cloudy, overcast, mist. Well, if we're gonna run into them, in this kind of weather, hopefully we can get out. Okay, unknown ship sighted. Vision range is a little bit better than I thought. It is such a coincidence that they found us way over here. Now, wind is down. We'll just kind of do this, I think. That appears to have been the right decision. And they are coming at us. They destroyed a turret already. A Thetis class. They are pounding on us very quickly. Oh my gosh, this is not what we wanted to see. Huh. I don't give us great odds, but I think we're going to have to attack. The 30 knots is just unreasonable. They also have one of their turrets down, which means they're only fighting with four of their six inch guns. Their belt armor isn't great. Let's actually try to take this one out. It is not going well to begin with, but there we go. We're finally starting to return some fire. Come on, trade. Okay, so they are hitting with light guns. Those are three inch guns. We're not so worried about that, but yeah, I, I'm very happy to see one of their turrets disabled. Okay, deck extended. We are hitting sometimes. So we're able to get off as many shots as we can, which is just four. Oh my gosh, whoa boy, that was not good. They were both on the other side of the ship, so keep firing. Oh my gosh. All right, deploy smoke, <laughs> get out. I don't think we're gonna be able to run away. <sighs> Man, I guess our six-inch guns just don't have the explosive firepower the British, uh, the, sorry, the Germans do, because I think we've hit them, like, if we compare. I think we've been hit more often, but it's not horribly lopsided. It's probably like four to three in terms of hits, maybe three to two, but they are still only at light damage, so our ship hasn't done much, apparently. All right, let's just get close and blast them. Blast them. They're coming so close. Blast them. I don't have the faintest idea what they're trying to do. I mean, besides run circles around me, which is acceptable. Okay, what if we just disappear into the night <laughs> at 13 knots? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going in. It's all or nothing, baby. If they're at five knots and heavy damage, this is our cue. Just get there. What guns do we have available? Yeah, the front ones, so. It is just a slog, totally a slog, and we are taking more than we're getting, giving. I think we're going to sink. Well, I was hopeful there. I saw heavy damage. I don't think this is actually, this is not an accurate report, in my opinion. Don't lay smoke anymore, it doesn't matter, just shoot your guns, if you can. 
We have no guns available to shoot them. That's not going to help our cause. Okay, so we lost one. Maybe. Okay, yes, we lost one. <laughs> we actually did heavy damage. It's a major victory for the Germans, though. This is, all, as always, the difference. Heavy damage is just insignificant compared to doing uh, sinking, but that's okay. I didn't expect we'd win that one. It's going to give them a big jump. They're blockading us, though. What? I mean, what are you going to do, right? And that is really why I want to get these guys out of Northern Europe. Go anywhere. Go to West Africa, I think. Just get out. Do not stay. Okay, make them a national hero. This is, hardly seems relevant at this point in time. Man, they must have a lot of submarines. Okay, cruiser action. This has to be my battle cruisers. It's the hell I thought I got my heavy cruisers out of there. I didn't check. Uh, I'm going to have to force them to retreat again. Well, this is not good. Okay. <laughs> the amount of things that can go wrong, they are all happening. Okay, it's going to be night soon. We're just going to just flee immediately, which means we have some old Bernie classes who are just going to... I'm sorry, but they are going to perish. In a blazing whatever of glory. Now all you guys need to do is run them away and we'll do the rest. As in, just, you can if you feel free to disengage. Wait, what the hell? Get back down here. Get back down here. God, they, they have very accurate weapons. Is this really true? These ships are honestly not much worse than my heavy cruisers, but okay, this is actually, okay, I need vision. They're just coming back into vision, okay. That means they're gonna know that we're doing this trick. It's not gonna fool them anymore. But we're still gonna go for it. Okay. Go. Hitting something. You guys just have to fire with your forward guns. Uh, it's not like we have a whole broadside we can offer. We only have two turrets. care about the injured guy just go and try to claim these ships I have no idea where they will go oh they can head to home port well that's not good Pretty in inconclusive, I would say, in the end. Oh, 
just as I turned us off squad max. Well, that's good. At least we're going to be able to sink one ship. <laughs> Not important, though. Yeah, I know this sh Yeah, should be obvious. There it is. Sunk. Jeez, man. The enemy submarines are just getting in, in just uh, unreal. They, it does look like they went into port, though. So we didn't have a chance of engaging them anyway. Yeah, well, what is that one? A victory? A loss? A marginal victory for them. Hmm. Okay, now let me get these darn heavy cruisers the hell out of here. Go away. Just go away. Go anywhere. I don't care. Just go away. We will fight them on. Okay, they were blocked again. Well, at least this was a good raiding turn for us. Okay, the Molotov 2, this is important. We will fight this battle, and we have to win it. I'm almost sure it's another battle cruiser, but if it's a comparable battle cruiser, we're going to fight it. I mean, we have to. The wind will be on our side, not that it really matters for these oil ships. That looks pretty small. I'm sure we would have good vision of it, considering we are, we're head on and they're broadside on. Well, I don't know, our detection algorithm is, <laughs> whoever is sitting on top of the tower is having an awfully hard time. Wow, that ship suddenly grew to about three times the size. I, I, they added in recently that if it's an unidentified ship, you can't tell the size at all. This doesn't seem realistic, man. The moment you see a ship, you can have a general feel for if it's a something that's a minesweeper or something that's a dreadnought. You have some gauge, right? Which is probably what this should be, instead of just your guesstimate as to what it is. Yeah, this should maybe should occur almost instantly. It's very rare that you see a ship, especially one that can fire at you, that uh, you don't know more or less the size of it. Anyways, we'll just engage our Molotovs. Wow, that's good. We'll wait for the, ooh, two hits. Okay, they hit us. We hit them. How we doing? 10% damage, that's pretty high. They are launching heavy guns at us. I don't know what they are. Okay, there we go. Gobin class. What are we dealing with? We can sink this. They have better armor. Two and a half deck. I think they have just way better armor. Yeah. Whoa, at least we have 10 inch turrets. So that's something. Oh my gosh, how are they so frickin' accurate? <sighs> Fine, run away. Which side should we run away at? Technically, we want to run away a little bit left of their... So if I read this correctly, their ship... Yeah, if we go a little bit on this side, we should kind of prevent them from firing. Jeez, man, they're only fire. How are wait? How are they even firing? Yeah, they only have two uh, guns they can fire, and this should put us at an advantage because we're able to fire our full five guns behind us. So this is good. We will chase. We will let them chase. I mean, this should put us in the advantage position. It's 11 inch versus 11 inch, huh? Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. And we have turrets too, man. We have turrets and they have casemate six inch. Ah, well, it's okay.
Let's slow down a little bit. We'll let them uh, catch us. I'm still confident in our gunnery. Despite all this stuff, all the negatives that have happened. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run this. Near miss. There's a hit. Now, our ship has reduced the flooding. We've taken 11 heavy, heavy hits, though. Damn. Wait. I think we've hit them more than 11 times, though. Oh, oh that's a 5-inch hit, though. Another one. Another one. All I can say is this is definitely the smartest thing we've thought to do in a long time, is take advantage of our massive superimposed benefit to turrets. So getting the five 11-inch um, guns on them, and they're only able to train their two forward guns on us. This is perfect. And then just let them catch up. Just let them ride that little area. Another hit. Okay, deck. It did not hit us, though. We have pretty good deck, and we're so close that I doubt we would be able to be penetrated. Let's take a look. We're 13,300, and we imagine a deck penetration of something like 1.8 around there, and we have two inches of deck, so let's let them close a little bit more, though, because we would prefer... I think we would prefer to be closer to them. There's two more hits. They do appear to be closing. Are they trying to tilt just enough? Oh, that turret's disabled. Okay, well, that's good. They're firing one heavy gun. <laughs> Come on, where are my shots? There they are. They're turning. Do they want to go broadside to broadside again? Or what is going on here? Oh my gosh. Well. Maybe they've had enough. And they want to call it a day. Let's find out. Okay, squad max, go. Now it's our turn. We're going to get our whole broadside off. This should be better. They're going to run away, it looks like, so we should have... Come on, go faster. We should be better than them. Close. Okay, if we're only going to use our front guns, let's just use it correctly. Head on, then. And in the moment, I probably should check to see our ammo situation as well. If we start running out of um, forward guns, we're going to have to... Oh, no, we've been being chased the whole time, so this is actually perfect. We're now using up our forward ammo after <laughs> using up all our rear ammo. Okay, they're coming to... We will choose to engage. Uh, this is big if we can pull this one off. The Molotov 2 will be a hero. I think we're doing it. No, 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 you don't. No, no, no. We're going to close in. Weather be damned. Nightfall be damned. Steam on. Get close. Get close. Even though you risk... Oh, they don't have any turrets left. They only have starboard side. And two submerged. Okay, so let's just be careful. Let's just follow in her wake. And slowly pound her away. Because she doesn't have any guns to the rear. So let's just follow in her wake. Okay, we're going to do this. We got her. Just reel her in. Reel her in. Nice and slow. Okay. Stay away. Stay away from that treacherous broadside. Okay, stay on her... Per we did it. Amazing. Amazing. 
<laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun. That was totally worth it. So there, I mean, cross deck fire, we can see the huge disadvantage there that we were able to massively take advantage of. And just one battle like that puts us back on top. Wow. Whew. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that was hmm, some battle. Now, I don't know how they model unrest. Obviously, blockading the Russians would d just do nothing. In real life, you j it just doesn't... Even the concept of trying to blockade the Russian ports over here, it would have almost no impact whatsoever on the Russian economy. So maybe they have that kind of filtered in, even though we're losing victory points because, yeah, okay, it's a stain on our pristine reputation, but the unrest level itself is not going up very much. I don't know if this is just maybe because we have two home areas, so they have to blockade Northeast Asia as well. I don't know. But I would say it does feel rather realistic that blockading has not added any unrest to the people. They just want to know, are we winning? Unfortunately, the victory points is kind of annoying to deal with because I don't think we would really care all that much about it, but okay. Well, we've gone 26 minutes into this video. I'm gonna call this one a little bit to an earlier close. Maybe I'll be able to post it a little bit earlier because this was a fun battle and so exciting to see us way ahead now, way ahead in victory points. And by way ahead, I mean not even a thousand, but uh, this is um, four turns of, well, maybe less than four turns of victory points due to blockade. So we have a small window of opportunity where maybe we can seek peace, but you know what? Let's just, I would say that's that's not a good option. Let's just push on. If we can get into any other battle cruiser options, I like our odds. I like our odds. Things did not go well in the beginning. I'm sure the Molotov 2 is gonna have to spend a little bit of time in port to repair that, but she'll be back. Whereas the German battle cruiser, is, the Gobin class, will not be making any kind of return uh, at least not until people are interested in servicing her to explore her 50 years in the future to see well, what, you know, explore an ancient wreck. And I don't know how I got off on that tangent. But anyways, let's call this episode to a close, and I'll catch you for more of the German War in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.